Greetings and welcome to this training video about how to use branded domains in sub accounts. I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite high level features, which will allow you to give your users and their customers an absolutely amazing client experience by keeping everyone in the same ecosystem using branded domains on individual sub accounts. Now, why is this important? Let me show you. Take a look here at my agency domain. This is what I have set up for my agency within high level, which means that if I go into any of my sub accounts and I create things like invoices, forms, or calendar links, they are going to be under my agency domain. You've probably noticed this already within your sub accounts, and I'll show you how you can brand these per sub account. So right now, here's an invoice, a form, and a calendar link that you can see are on the agency domain. Let's go ahead and change that. All we are going to do is go to the sub account that we want to change the domain for, go ahead and go to business profile settings and scroll down to branded domain. Now we are going to type in the domain of the sub account and we are going to type link dot and then whatever domain we want to use. Now, when we click add domain, what's going to happen is it's going to create a name record pointing towards link.messagesender.com if you are on a supported domain platform that does it automatically. And I'll show you what it looks like for both use cases. We are going to click add domain and then continue. Now, this domain is set up on Google domains, which as well as GoDaddy and a couple others, which are set to automatically edit and create records within the DNS settings. When I click authorize domain, what's going to happen is these records are going to be added to my DNS under this domain. Once I click authorize, it's going to take me to this page. I'm going to click yes, connect, and then close out of this page. Now, if you are on a different provider, maybe Cloudflare or Squarespace, then what you're going to want to do is add this record manually, and I'll show you how to do that. Right here, you'll see all you need to do is create a name record pointing towards link.messagesender.com. If you go to your domain settings on whatever provider you have, then go to DNS, then what you want to do is create a new record pointing to this data. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and delete this and add it manually. We are going to click create new record. We are going to make it a name. We are going to type link. That's it. And then this field is what you're going to copy from this little bubble within your sub account, which is just link.messagesender.com. Go to our domain, paste it and save the record. Now that you know how high level can add it automatically or manually, let's check out the end result of creating a branded domain within our sub account. Now you'll see on our invoices, we have our branded domain. On our forms, we have our branded domain and on our calendar links, we have our branded domain, as opposed to having the agency domain across all sub accounts. Now keep in mind, these are native to individual sub accounts. So if you don't change the brand domain, then your agency domain will be the default for any new sub accounts you create. Though I would highly recommend creating a branded domain for each sub account, especially if there are different clients or different aliases or different businesses that you have, because it can give that sub accounts customers an amazing experience where everything is in one ecosystem. So everything is congruent. That's going to be it for branded domains on sub accounts. Thanks for listening to this video about how to use branded domains in sub accounts. For more videos like this, or to make a request for additional training videos please go to the main menu and add a comment ticket.